Alright, before I do a review, I always take one last look at the sneaker if it's already opened up, just so I can get my mind and my thought process right. So let's go ahead and do that real quick before we get off into this review. I am not a role model. What the? Did y'all hear that? Hold on, hold on. I'm not paid to be a role model. What? Man, what, like, what is up with what is up with this sneaker, bruh? Oh, let's let's do this one more time. I am not a role model. Alright y'all, this review is gonna be crazy. Let's go. You gotta be smart when you shot. Are you looking for authentic? If you aren't, then stop. Cause you probably will regret it. We say no synthetic. No synthetic. If they ready, we'll let you know if you should go and get them. We got back, we got crew. Never slack on the brew for OGs and the you. You can kick it with us too. Technology. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Kicknology. I'm your boy Truth and this is your first time tapping into my channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this review. You already know what shoe it is if you've seen the thumbnail. So that means that you are interested in this sneaker. And today I'm going to give you an in-depth review of this shoe. If you are a reoccurring subscriber, thank you guys so much for rocking with your boy as I use my platform to bring glory and honor to Christ. What I mean by that is if you click on this link right here, it's going to be two playlists. The Word and Jays, In True Tuesday, every Tuesday, every Sunday, I connect my love for sneakers to the Word of God to let you guys know that God loves each and every one of you guys. So scroll through some of the videos, check out what it is, and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button hit the like button it helps the channel grow get my video out to more viewers and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified anytime i drop any video gonna be doing a lot of uploads just like i did in 2020 2021 is gonna be an amazing year we are on our race to 10k by the end of the year if we exceed that that'll be a blessing and all that is out of the way let's go ahead and get off into this review so as you can tell by the thumbnail, you already know what this is. You see this orange and white Nike box. Today I will be doing a review on another 90s basketball sneaker. I am an 80s baby. And I brought you guys this review. As you guys can see right here, the King Griffey's that will be dropping the 15th. It's going to be the link right here. It's going to be for that review. Go ahead and check it out if you're on the fence about that. I will be doing a how to cop for those here coming up. And also, I did a review for this sneaker a few years back. I want to say in 2015, when it retro the first time, I ended up doing a review for it. But I got my wrong size. I got a size 11 instead of 11.5, which is my true to size. And now that they brought them out again, I was like, you know what? Let me get my true to size, something I can rock with. So that video actually did numbers for me, man. So if you want to check out that video, I do have it playing here behind me. But also, this link right here is going to be an in-depth review for the 2015 pair. This is the 2020 pair. But it's gonna be they're gonna be releasing again in 2021. I'm gonna give you guys all the information here on this video. Let's go ahead and get up into this pair, this 2021 pair. Like I said, this is the Air Max CB2 um, 94 came out in 1994. This size 11.5 in the retail is 160 for this pair. The pair that I reviewed in 2015 was actually 140, so it is a 20 dollars increase. You know, to each its own. But um, you do have your standard Nike box. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this box, as you guys can see on the screen. Start with the top, orange and white Nike box. We're going to open up that box, and we're going to peel back this paper. And you do have the Air Max 2 CB94, man. A very OG shoe, very iconic shoe, um, as you guys can see right here. I call it the dinosaur and the super aggressive dinosaur sneaker because Charles Barkley, if y'all know anything about him, this dude didn't care. And you've seen in the opener, he kept saying, I'm not a role model. I'm not a role model. That was a Nike campaign that they had because uh, he did a lot of things that, you know, maybe people wouldn't agree with when it comes to the way he presented himself on the basketball court and stuff like that. He was a beast. He was a dog. He did his thing. But... You know, some things that, you know, where he pushed and stuff like that. Some of the things that he still says this day on camera, even on TNT. You know, he always said, hey, I'm not a role model. It's not my job to raise your kids. So I'm, I'll put the link to that video down in my description section. But yeah, like I said, as you guys can see, just a very iconic sneaker. Please, 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 please go true to size or go a size up. A half a size up in my opinion and i'm gonna explain to you why but let's go ahead and get this 360 view as you can see on the screen starting with the back end of this sneaker you got that nike air real thick like you know what i'm saying got the air unit going all the way around the back end of the sneaker going around the outer sole of the shoe you do it's black and white and it's just kind of like i said it looks like this 
it just looks very dinosaurish. Like then going across the toe box, you do have a black and white toe box. You have this bamboo type stretch elastic system when it comes to, to the laces. And then inside of the shoe is the exact same thing as the outer. And bottom of the sneaker, we do have this black and white bottom with the purple and white Nike check because he did play for the Phoenix Suns. But yeah, man, just an overall dope sneaker. I'm glad I was able to put it back into my collection. So let's talk about this shoe. This shoe actually dropped already at a lot of places. We start seeing pictures and surfaces around July 2020 and Jimmy Jazz and Champs a lot of places end up getting them they sold out ASAP so a lot of people missed out on it but they are resurfacing again at stores right now along with the Griffies. The Griffy has an official release date. This one does not have an official release date and I don't think it's going to have one. My advice to you guys is going to be just as you go into your stores, your Champs, your Foot Lockers, your Jimmy Jazzes and stuff like that, check to see if they're sitting on the shelf. They're not going to advertise this shoe. They're going to literally put it on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys check it out. Tap in, don't miss out if it's something that you want. Right now, the resale value for this sneaker is around $240 to $300, depending on the size. Um, and I think it's worth it, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and get up close and personal real quick. So, like I said, starting with the outer side of the shoe, you just see these heel-like dinosaur teeth here. Represents, uh, It really represents the style of play that Charles Barkley have. You do have this black, white, and purple colorway, the Phoenix Suns colorway. You got that Nike big and bold. Back in the 90s, Nike was huge about making everything big and bold, so they spelled out very, everything very big. Um, and then going along the back side of the shoe, we do have that Nike Air, like I said. And because Charles Barkley is not a role model, and he's super aggressive, and I'm scared of the guy, I ain't gonna smack this thing hard. I'm just gonna, you know, my bad, Sir Charles, but... Smack test approved for my man Sir Charles. You know what I'm saying? But going around the inside of the shoe, we've got the exact same thing, just missing the Nike. Um, with the sizing, I said go a half a size up. The reason why I say that, or get your traditional size if you like to feel a little snug. This, this booty sock liner thing in this shoe, like as you guys can see right there, it's like it's like the it's the shoe, and then it's like a booty in here, like a little cage. It is a pain getting these shoes on your feet if you don't get your right size. If you get if you go down too small, I'm telling you, you're gonna have a hard time. And even this section here where the toe box is, it's gonna be very hard. It's gonna fit really tight. Because of this system that's in this shoe, they really don't tie up that tight. Um, you have the elastic, so there's no room to really breathe or give yourself any any room, wiggle room. So you gotta make sure that you get your right size. Um, that's one of the negative things about this sneaker that a lot of people don't like. But on the tongue, we do have that Air Max right there. Uh, and on the bottom of the shoe. Um, you see what it looks like right there and it does have that air bubble in the back man So yeah, very nice shoe. Um, I have to hoop in this shoe before performance wise. It's an okay sneaker um, But for my feet, I do like the older shoes the kamikazes and stuff like that to actually hoop in I'm not gonna say it's a great shoe to hoop in but I mean I hoop mostly outside So I'm gonna say that this is more of an indoor sneaker. Let me know down below what you guys think about that but be on the lookout, stay tuned if you are interested in copping this sneaker. Check out your local stores, do your footwork. Just every now and then, just go in and check it out. See what's sitting on the shelves, because a lot of these shoes from the 90s, they're bringing back, they're sending them on the shelves, and we don't even realize they're on there. Let me know down in the comment section, are you feeling this sneaker? If this is something that you have in your collection, or do you want to go after these shoes? Or did you miss out like a lot of other people? Also, comment below and let me know what 90s sneaker do you want to see them bring back along with this one. In the Ken Griffey, it seems like Nike is going to give us a little bit more of the OG Nike non-Jordan basketball sneakers. And I ain't mad at you. Hit this like button. The goal for this video is 100 likes. Let's see if we can go ahead and do that. And also subscribe to the channel. Like I said, the goal is 10K by the end of the year. Appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Rock what you like, not what's hype. Wash them hands, man. And remember, these shoes right here, the shoes by, remember the shoes behind me, this sneaker right here, they're just bait. Away from to share my faith. I'm gone. Faith, hard work, and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you gotta keep them clean. There's that knowledge in your walk when you step on the scene. Technology ain't no apology. Don't make it hard, man. It ain't trigonometry.